G'day. This particular integral is an unusual one. We have logarithms inside a power, we have a fraction. Definitely the top is not the derivative of the bottom, so it's not a logarithmic pattern. Uh, at first glance it looks awful, and you certainly wouldn't want to expand the top and try and do anything. So we stop and think. If we took, we have here a function by the way, to some power, if we took the derivative of that function, what do we get? Well, the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of log x is 1 on x, which surprisingly is what we have out the front. We think, aha, we're onto something. This is a pattern we might recognise. And, in fact, it is the pattern where... I'll just reconstruct the pattern for you, because I realise you may not have come from one of my previous videos. If we find the derivative of some function of x to some power. It's going to be n fx to the n minus 1 times the derivative of f. Uh, and when we multiply both sides by dx, we get d fx to the n is n. I'm going to reverse these because I like to have the derivative first. And when we integrate both sides, the integral of the derivative undo each other, and we're left with this pattern. Now we see the solution for the integral, if we have this complicated looking integral, the solution is actually quite simple. But look at the pattern. We have something to a power, which we actually have, something to a power. We have the derivative in front, which in indeed we do. It wasn't what we expected to start with, but the derivative 1 plus log x is 1 over x. We're just missing this n. Now, I, in, in an earlier video I showed you two methods of handling the n. Sometimes it can be under here if you wish. But uh, I'm going to leave it following this pattern. If this is n minus 1, then n is worth 1 more, so I would like to have a 3 there. I'll do it in two steps. Uh, 1 plus log x squared on x dx. Just keep that separate. And using this pattern, we would like to have a 3 here. That would match the n. n minus 1 would be 2. There's our function, and there's the derivative of our function be 1 over x. Now to compensate for the 3 we need to multiply by a third. As I keep saying, a third of 3 is 1 and multiplying by 1 won't change the value of the derivative. So we have 1 third and now all of this integral matches this beautiful pattern. Well, perhaps not so beautiful. And the result is going to be this function to the power n, which is this number here. So it's going to be 1 plus log x cubed plus c. And of course I, I would actually prefer to write the 3 underneath here. That's method number 1. Method number 2 would be to use substitution. Here I was relying on the pattern. Now whether you derive this on the side of your page during, ex during an exam or during your homework, or whether you have actually memorised the pattern is up to you. You've only got to do this 5 or 10 or 20 times and it starts to sink in and after a while you just know what the pattern is. But nonetheless, if you don't want to use the pattern, we can use substitution. And let's do that and just verify we get the same result. So here on the side, we would let some pronumeral, we often use the letter u, equal the complicated part of the expression, which in this case is on the top, it's the 1 plus log x. That means that du dx, the derivative of this is 1 on x, 
which means that du equals dx on x, or 1 over x dx, whichever you prefer, just by moving the dx up here. Now using that information, we get this. 1 plus log x is worth u, so we have u squared on the top. That's u squared. The dx over x, I can replace with a du. That's a much nicer looking integral. So sometimes a substitution, if you're confused, a substitution is an excellent way to go. And uh, the integral of u squared du is u cubed on 3, plus c of course. And if we substitute back for u, it's 1 plus log x, so it's 1 plus log x cubed on 3 plus c. Same result. Uh, really, in this case, there was pro if you're doing this on the side of the page, there probably wasn't that much difference in the amount of work involved. Uh, <clears throat> it would be a lot faster if you knew that pattern. Slightly unusual integral, that one. But nonetheless, I hope you found value in it and learned something and enjoyed it. And I thank you for watching.